Vsauce, five rare dogs, four rare comic books, three rare video games, two rare signatures, and one rare element. It's five, four, three, two, one rare element. Astatine, named from the Greek astatos, meaning unstable, is one of the rarest elements on Earth. It was first produced in 1940 by scientists at the University of California, Berkeley, by bombarding bismuth-209 with alpha particles in a particle accelerator to produce astatine-211, which the scientists discovered was radioactive. Three years later, astatine was found naturally in radioactive decay chains, and at any given time, only 25 grams of naturally occurring astatine exists on the planet. Two rare signatures. There are only six existing signatures of William Shakespeare that are attached to four different legal documents, including a deposition, the purchase of a house in London, the mortgage of the same house, and his will, which contains three of the six, one on each page. Neil Armstrong signed plenty of autographs until 1994, when his signature became one of the rarest because of his decision to stop signing anything. He was known to be quite a recluse and never really liked signing them in the first place. In a biography by James Hansen, it says that Charles Lindbergh advised him to never sign autographs, and Armstrong claims to regret not taking that advice. Three rare video games. For this, I'm gonna defer to rare gaming expert Pat the NES Punk. Go. Hey Vsauce, Pat here. Up first is Mr. Boston for the Vectrex system. This was a modified version of the Pac-Man clone Clean Sweep. Mr. Boston was distributed by the liquor store company of the same name. Now less than 10 copies are known to exist, so if you want a cart, you're going to have to pay at least a few thousand dollars. If you can find one. Air Raid for the Atari 2600, a game so mysterious that clickers weren't even 100% sure about its name until a box for it surfaced in 2010. Not many were produced and distribution was extremely limited. Now if you want a copy of the game, which is a strangely shaped blue cart, you're gonna have to pay at least $3,000 or so. But if you want the box and the game, you're looking at a price tag of at least 30 grand. Finally, the Nintendo World Championships 1990 Gold Card, the holy grail of video game collecting. 26 of these were given away as prizes for a Nintendo Power Magazine contest. A gold version of the gray ones used during Power Fest 1990, this is a competition card consisting of Super Mario Bros., Rad Racer, and Tetris. If you can find someone willing to part with one of these treasures, you're gonna have to spend at least $25,000. Now, who would be dumb enough to spend that type of ludicrous cash on a video game? <laughs> Uh... Four rare comic books. Action Comics number one was Superman's first appearance and it came out in 1938. And a single original copy sold for over two million dollars. There's said to be only 50 to 100 original copies that still exist and even fewer that are in collectible condition. Detective Comics number 27 came out in 1939 and it was the first to introduce Batman. It's considered one of the most valuable, selling for auction in 2010 for one million seventy-five thousand dollars. Superman number one was the first to be a superhero self-titled comic book, and it premiered in 1939 with a highest sale record of two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Batman number one was another instance where the superhero was so popular they got their own self-titled comic book. It first appeared in 1940 and has been sold for $315,000. Five Rare Dogs The Norwegian Lundhund is a small dog that was bred for hunting puffins and their eggs. They have six toes and an amazing range of motion in their joints. They have the ability to bend their heads backwards all the way to their spine. They were almost extinct after 1963 because of canine distemper, only six dogs survive, but with some careful breeding, the population is estimated to be back around 1500 to 2000. The Neapolitan Mastiff is an ancient dog that dates back to ancient Egypt, Persia, Mesopotamia, and Asia. When the Romans conquered Greece, they adopted the giant dogs and used them in battle, hunting, and the arena. After almost becoming extinct after World War II, a group of dedicated Italians organized and promoted the breed, which was first officially recognized as a breed in 1948. The Pachon Navarro is a rare Spanish hunting dog known for its double nose. Once thought to have superior sensing abilities because of the double nose, it's now known that it's only a cosmetic difference. The height of their popularity was with Spanish nobility during the 18th and 19th century, but they were almost extinct after the Spanish Civil War. With the help of some dedicated Pachon Navarro lovers, the breeding stock has been re-established. The Chinook is a rare breed of sled dog developed in the 20th 
20th century in the U.S. and is the official state dog of New Hampshire. By 1981, only 11 breedable Chinooks were left, but with the effort of breeders in Maine, Ohio, and California, they've managed to save them from extinction. Only about 800 are registered today, with only around 100 pups born annually worldwide. The Carolina dog, also known as the American Dingo, is said to be the oldest canine species of North America. They were discovered in the 1970s in the southeastern United States and lived without domestication for thousands of years. Their DNA is at the base of the canine family tree, suggesting ties to primitive canine lineage, possibly descendants of ancient dogs that came over the Bering Strait land bridge thousands of years ago. If you need to test your brain skills, go check out a brand new riddle challenge over on Sauce, and I want to thank my good friend Pat the NES Punk for sharing his gaming knowledge with us. Go check out his channel, be sure to subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching. If you want to learn more about video games and have some fun and tomfoolery along the way, check out my channel for more! I'm going to keep doing this until they edit it out. <laughs>